What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, I know. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to work out your calories and your macronutrient intake. So we're gonna get out of this chair for once in these goddamn videos. We're gonna get up on the whiteboard, burning a few extra calories by standing up. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly, step by step, how to work out your calories and your macronutrient intakes and giving you some nuggets of information along the way. So, without further ado, Let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy it. So before we get into working out your macros and your calories, I want to run two things by you. First one is I want to make sure that you've got written down on a piece of paper your gender, your weight, more specifically in pounds, and your activity level. Now, in terms of weight, if you're in the UK like me, you probably weigh yourself in either stone or kilos. You can find an online conversion calculator. If you're anywhere else in the world, you probably measure it in pounds anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. And your activity level, if you don't know it exactly, we are gonna be going over it later in the video. So, just bear in mind, you may need to do that a little bit later. And the second thing is what exactly makes up your total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. -E. So everything you do in a day, whether it's walking to work, laying in bed, going to the gym, fiddling with your feet, tapping your legs, everything you do in a day is added up and that makes your total daily energy expenditure. Now these are broken down into four categories. The first one is your BMR. This stands for basal metabolic rate. This is essentially the minimum amount of calories that your body requires per day just to maintain its weight. So if you were to lay in bed all day and do absolutely no physical activity, you didn't move from the bed, you didn't do anything, this is how many calories you would need to consume to maintain your current weight. The second one is TEF or the thermo effects of foods. And essentially everything that you consume needs to be processed, needs to be digested, and it needs to be turned into heat in order for the body to use it. And this expends a certain amount of calories. That is what TEF is. So in layman's terms, 10 to 15% of your overall fat and carbohydrate calories are burned up and expended before they even hit your body in order to process the food you've just consumed. And in terms of protein, it's about 25% of your total um, protein intake in terms of calories are um, expended just to process and consume your proteins for the day. If you didn't know that, you do now. And the third one is NEAT, Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. And the next one is NEAT, or Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. This sounds confusing, but essentially if you walk to the shop, if you walk to work, if you fiddle with your feet, if you tap your feet, every form of exercise that you do that is outside of the gym is classified as NEAT. So this can be like riding your bike to college, riding your bike to work, walking, everything. Everything outside of the gym comes under NEAT. And the last one is EAT, or how many calories you are burning for every workout session you do. So this includes your weight training, your cardio training, any sports specific training, that all comes under EAT. And as you can see, out of all four of these components, your EAT, or how many calories you're burning in the gym, is the smallest contributor towards your total daily energy expenditure. And that's not to say that your training is not important because it really is, but this is just an eye opener to how you need to be controlled outside of the gym. You can spend two hours in the gym, but it's what you do in the next 22 hours. That's what's important, as you can tell here. Okay, so with that said, let's get in to working out our calories. Okay, so the first step that we want to do to work out an estimation of what your TDEE is, we're going to take your weight, and this is why you need to know it, so we're going to take your weight, in our examples case, we are 200 pounds, so we take your weight in pounds, which is 200, multiplied by either 14, 15 or 16 for males, or 13, 14, or 15 for females. And this is where your activity level comes into play. So if you're lightly active, someone who goes to the gym three times a week, has a sedentary lifestyle, doesn't really do much outside of that, you would times it by 13 for females, 14 for males. If you're moderately active, so you go to the gym, you maybe walk to the shops, you walk to work, you have a stand-up job, then yeah, times it by either 15 for males or 14 for females, or if you're in the gym six days a week or you work a very active job where you're on your feet, moving all the time, or you're a very busy and hectic lifestyle, 
that requires you to be on your feet nearly all day, and you times it by 16 for males or 15 for females. In our case, our male is very active, so our equation would be 200, because that's his weight in pounds, times by 16, because that's his activity level, and because he's a male, gives us an estimated TDEE of 3,200. Okay, so once we've got our TDEE estimation, what we need to decide to do then is whether we wanna lose weight, maintain our current weight, or whether we want to lean bulk or gain some muscle, because each one is gonna require you to do a certain adjustment to your daily calorie intake. So if you wanna cut or lose weight or shed some body fat, you need to take your total energy expenditure, in this case 3,200, and either subtract 250 to 500 calories. So in this case, we'll go a nice solid 300 calories, a good midpoint, leaves us with a new total daily energy expenditure of 2,900. Now in this example, this is how many calories that this individual male of 200 pounds who's very active would need to eat to start losing averagely about a pound or half a kilo per week. If we wanted to maintain, all we do is just keep the exact same calories, we don't adjust them, we don't do nothing with them, we just monitor them to see if they actually are helping us maintain our current weight. If it's too high or too low, you need to take it down or raise it up. But if we want to lean bulk and we want to gain some muscle, just gain some weight in general, we need to take our TDEE of 3,200 and plus either 250 to 300 calories. So in this case, we're just gonna plus 300 calories onto 3,200 calories will give us a total daily energy expenditure of 3,500 calories and that is for a male with 200 pounds, very active. If they wanna gain weight or gain some muscle, they need to be eating 3,500 calories per day. So what I want you guys to do now is pause the video and fill in all of this with your information. Figure out whether you wanna diet, whether you wanna bulk, or whether you wanna maintain your current weight. Once you've got your TDEE, come back to the video and let's get on to working out your macronutrients. Okay, so I hope you went back and you've got your number with you because now we're gonna need it to work out our macros. Okay, so your macronutrients are your protein, carbs, and fats. These are fairly simple to work out, so grab a piece of paper, follow along. You are gonna to need to know for two things. You're gonna to need to carry over your weight in pounds and you're gonna to need to know your TDEE, so keep them handy. Right, the first thing we're gonna work out is our protein. So all we do for this is we times our body weight in pounds by either one to 1.2. For an average, one gram of protein per pound of body weight is completely fine for like 99% of people, so we're gonna go with that. So one times 200 pounds gives us 200 grams. So that's how much protein we need to be intaking per day. Second thing we wanna work out is our fat. Now, what we're gonna do for this is we're still gonna use our body weight, but we're gonna multiply it by either 0.2 or 0.35 per pound of body weight. So in this case, we're gonna go over a good average, um, a good medium, and we're gonna times 200 by 0.25, gives us 50 grams. So that's how many grams of fats we need to be intaking per day. So we're gonna have to take a different approach to working out your carbohydrates, mainly because we need to figure out how many calories are coming from our protein and our fats throughout the day in order to work out how many carbohydrates we need. So that's when we go over to this side of the board. Now, for every one gram of protein you consume, it's four calories. For every one gram of fat you consume, it's nine calories. And for every one gram of carbs you consume, it's again, four calories. So knowing this, we can work out how many calories we're taking in from our protein and our fats, subtract that from our overall intake, and then divide the remaining amount by four to get how many grams of carbohydrates we need. So our protein intake is 200 grams per day. Now, because there's four calories, per one gram of protein, we need to times 200 grams of protein by four, giving us 800 calories. So out of our total daily energy expenditure, 800 calories of the 2,900 that we have, that we're using in this example, are coming from calories. That's 800 calories out of 2,900. Secondly, we're gonna do our fats. So our fats are gonna be 50, because there's 50 grams of fats, times by nine, because there's nine calories, per every gram of fat we have, gives us 450. So out of our 2,900 calories, 
450 are coming from fat. So what we do next is we plus these two together. So we have 800 calories coming from protein, 450 calories coming from fats, equaling 1200 calories. So out of this example, out of 2900 calories, 1250 are coming from our protein and our fats, leaving us 1650 calories. Now that's how many calories are gonna be coming from our carbohydrates. And most of you may be thinking, great, we know how many calories are coming from our carbohydrates, but Connor, how many grams of carbohydrates do we actually need? So we know 1,650 calories are coming from carbohydrates, and we know for every one gram of carbs, there are four calories. So what we do is we reverse the equation, and we use 1,650 divided by four gives us 410 grams of carbohydrates. Okay, so once we've done this, we have our overall total macronutrient intakes for the day. This being 200 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, and 410 grams of carbohydrates. So in the end, for this example, a 200 pound male who's very active, if he wants to lose half a kilo to a kilo per week, he needs to be consuming 2,900 calories, and his overall macronutrient intake is gonna be 200 protein, 50 grams of fat, and 410 grams of carbs. Now I must stress, these are all estimations. It is gonna be physically impossible for anyone to know 100% what their exact macro macronutrients are. No one does. So the best we can do is get as close as possible. So what you need to do is fill all this stuff out, find your numbers, trial and error. That's gonna be the big key, and that's, that's the key of this. You're gonna to need to at least use these macros for maybe one to two weeks. If you find that your weight is coming up, then you need to bring the calories down and bring your macronutrients down. If you find the weight is dropping too quickly, so if you're dropping like five, six pounds or two to three kilos per week, you need to bring those calories up. But with that said, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this information has shed some light onto how many calories you should be eating per day. If any of it has been confusing, you can just play the video from the start and go over it again. You can slow it down, follow along with a piece of paper and pen. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be sure to look at them. And I'll see you guys next Monday for another informative video. Fucking started raining as I'm recording this, so I really hope it hasn't come out on the video.